scoreboard. And speaking of scoreboards, Stacy Bliss just about sent Tink Miller into the scoreboard, and the violence continues as Sean Atkinson and Stacy Blitz must work on out together on their off days. I know you're against violence in this league, Hawk, and I know that general manager Kenneth Love always has been, but things aren't going his way lately. Our own Julie Lynch caught up with Love very recently. Kenneth Logue is a man of pride and integrity. It's no wonder he's ashamed after his roller derby queen fiasco. If I were he, I'd lay low a long time. General Manager Kenneth Logue III has fallen from grace in the eyes of Commissioner Jerry Seltzer. And Union Rep Mark D'Amato is reaping the rewards. Listen, you little freak. I said to have that box of cigars here by noon. No excuses. Including taking over Logue's plush office. Logue's humiliation is at an all-time low. We found him cleaning a weight room in a rundown training center, stripped of his staff and budget, yet still working. I'm perfectly capable of running the training center by myself. The Logues were all raised to be self-reliant. My mother always said, if you want a job done right, do it yourself. <laughs> but he wasn't that comfortable. Could you shut the camera off here, please? Thank you. Well, skating me, can I help you? Yes, he is. One moment. This is Kenneth Logue. Can I help you? D'Amato's whims have become his chores. I think Mr. D'Amato likes Jack Daniels. By the case, what the f*** do I care? How does the Wall Street wizard feel about being D'Amato's whipping boy? I'm going to go along with his games because... I'm going to be there when his little empire crumbles. It's really just a matter of time. The general manager, Kenneth Lowe, he's trackside with our Broadway Danny Wolf. Danny? All right, Kenneth Lowe the third. I had a feeling you would resurface tonight. Well, the reports of my demise have been greatly exaggerated, Danny, as always. Uh, I've been taking care of business, to borrow a phrase from the vernacular. First, before we get to the roller derby queen fiasco, I'm going to say you've been against the sex and violence in the World Skating League. What are your comments on the last few minutes of the period? It's repugnant. It is a perfect example of everything that I find repellent. Tim Washington coming over here. Hold on, Tim. I'm doing an interview with Kenneth Lowe. Hold on one second. This is not your interview time. Kenneth Lowe, I'm going to ask you, really, how can you show your face after the roller derby? How can you? The fiasco for whom, Danny? Certainly not for me, perhaps for those responsible for that fiasco. I have irrefutable proof that that vote was manipulated by forces unfriendly to me and the fans of Roller Jam. Well, let's talk then really quickly before we get to that about your, some of your responsibilities. Your power has been stripped away by Commissioner Seltzer. He has uh, diminished your power and given it to Mark D'Amato, Kenneth. Well, when you rise to the level of sports that I have, you have to expect that sometimes the wind is not going to blow in your direction. I've been using my time wisely to consolidate my support. And you said something about, you knew something about the, the contest and about the voting. Let us in on it. What are you holding back, Kenneth? The voter fraud was so widespread and so blatant it would embarrass a Kennedy, Daniel. I have an eyewitness That's enough. That That's enough right there, okay? That is enough. You are holding in the back right now by Mark D'Amato. So let's go. Now. Uh oh. <laughs> I wonder what D'Amato wants. Uh, come on. It was it. Texas wrestler women. Here's a good